telecommunications refers to all types of data transmission from voice to video end users need to communicate electronically in today's world people need to exchange data and information electronically with one another a good communication system is a must for every organizations organizations depends on interconnected networks of computers to service their information processing needs telecommunications is the sending of information in any form from the place to another using electronic or light emitting media all forms of electronic communications telecommunications now really heavily on computers and computerized devices a more detailed discussion about telecommunications network transmission media transmission paths etc is given in chapter 21 computer networks analog and digital signals almost everything in the world can be described or represented in one of two forms analog or digital the principal features of analog representation is that they are continuous in contrast digital representations consist of values measured at discrete intervals digital watches are called digital because they go from one value to the next without displaying all the intermediate values consequently they can display only a finite number of time of the day in contrast watches with hands are analog because the hand move continuously around the clock face all the minute hand goes around it not only touches the numbers 1 through 12 but also the infinite numbers of point in between early attempts at building computers used analog techniques but accuracy and reliability were not good enough today almost all computers are digital the term digital describes any system based on discontinuous data or events computers are digital machines because at their almost basic level they can distinguish between just two values 0 and 1 or off and on there is no simple way to uh, represent all the value in between such as 0.25 all data that a computer processes must be encoded digitally as a series of zeros and ones in general human experience the world analogically vision for example is an analog experience because we perceive infinitely smooth gra- gradation of shapes and colors most analog events however can be simulated digitally photographs in newspapers for instance consist of any array of dots that are either black or white from after the viewer does not see the dots the digital form but only lines and shading which appear to be continuous although digital representations are approximation of analog events they are useful because they are relatively easy to store and manipulate electronically the trick is in converting from analog to digital and back again this conversion is the principle behind compact disc the music itself exists in an analog form as waves in the air but these sounds are then translated into a digital form that is encoded onto the disc when you play a compact disc the cd player r- reads the digital data translates in back into its original analog form and sends it to the amplifier and eventually the speakers internally computers are digital because they consist of discrete units called bits that are either on or off but by combining many bits in complex ways computers simulate 
analog events in a way this is what computer science is all about modulation for transmission purposes a high frequency carrier wave is used to carry the audio signals the process of changing some characteristics uh, amplitude frequency or phase of a carrier wave in accordance with the intensity of the signal is known as modulation. Modulation means to change in modulation. Some characteristics of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the intensity, amplitude of the signal. The resultant wave is called the modulated wave or radio wave and contains the audio signal. Therefore, modulation permits the transmission to occur at high frequencies while it simultaneously allows the carrying of the audio signal need for uh, modulation. Modulation is necessary is communication system due to the following reasons. Antenna length. In order to transmit a wave effectively, the length of the transmitting antenna should be approximately equal to the wavelength of the wave so for transmitting audio wave whose wavelength is very high we need to have very long antennas which is impractical operating range the energy of the wave depends upon its frequency the greater the frequency of the wave the greater the energy processed by it as the audio signal frequencies are small, they cannot be transmitted over long distances. Wireless communications One desirable feature of audio transmissions is that it could be carried without wires at audio frequencies. Radiation is not practical because the efficiency of radiation is poor at low frequencies. The only practical solution for the above problems is to modulate a high frequency carrier wave with the audio signal and permit the transmission to occur at this high frequency carrier frequency. Types of modulation. Modulation is the process of changing the amplitude of frequency or phase of a carrier wave in accordance with the intensity of the signal. Accordingly, there are three types of modulation. Amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, phase modulation. Amplitude modulation, when the amplitude of the high frequency carrier wave is changed is accordance with the intensity of the signal it is called amplitude modulation in amplitude modulation only the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed however the frequency of the modulated wave remains the same the follow points are worth nothing in the case of amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier wave changes according to the intensity of the signal the amplitude variations of the carrier wave are at the signal frequency. The frequency of the amplitude modulates. Wave remains the same. Carrier frequency. An important consideration in amplitude modulation is so describe the depth of modulation that is an extent to which the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed by the signal. This is described by the factor called the modulation factor which is the ratio of the change of amplitude of carrier wave to the amplitude of the normal carrier wave. Some of the limitations of uh, amplitude modulation are noisy reception in an arm wave. The signal is uh, in the amplitude variations of the carrier. Practically, all natural and human voices consist of electrical amplitude disturbances as the radio receiver cannot distinguish between amplitude variations that represents noise and those that contains the desired signal reception is generally noisy small operating system 
due to low frequency of amplitude modulation transmitters employing the method have a small operating range lack of audio quality in order to attain high uh, fidelity reception of all audio frequencies up to 15 kg is a must be reproduced this necessitate and uh, bandwidth of 30 kg is it but am broadcasting stations are assigned bandwidth of only 10 kg is it to minimize interference and adjacent broadcasting stations this means that the highest modulating frequency can be 5 kg is it which is hardly sufficient to reproduce a signal properly frequency modulation when the frequency of the carrier wave is changed according to with the intensity 